hey guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl shanika marie and we are back with another video so um just wanted to pop on really quick because i just started something yesterday and i wanted to share it with you something to do before you go to bed um writing out a list of what you are proud of yourself for like write out some things that you are proud that you did um that day well i'll just say today but whenever you um, are viewing this video what are you proud of yourself for and it can be the smallest thing like for example today i'm proud of myself for taking my multivitamin because y'all i have not been taking vitamins and i literally bought vitamins yesterday so this is day two of me taking a multivitamin i'm also proud of myself for listening to my body today because after work I was exhausted, so your girl took a good old nap. So I am proud of myself for um, taking me a nap, listen to, listening to my body, honoring my body. And um, I'm also proud of, I had a very sacred moment at work today where I got to pray with someone. And, you know, just I'm, I'm proud of just me being available to her. And um, I just just proud of just the conversation that we had um, and me just sharing a little bit of my testimony with her and it just really encouraged her. So I'm proud of myself for being vulnerable. And yeah, like those three things are um, something that I'm proud of myself for. And so um, this was something that, did my therapist, I'm not sure. I might've talked about it in therapy, but I know it was literally from God um, telling me to do this at night and I really just feel like this this is a this, this is an assignment you need to do especially if you feel like you're struggling with like your mental health in this season and you're feeling like you're not doing enough and you're feeling like um just you just feel like you're un under a lot of pressure and you just feel like you just the days are like running together and you can't get enough done in a day I really just challenge you to Write down what you are proud of yourself for and do it for 30 days. Let's try to do it for 30 days and I'm going to be your accountability partner. I want you to type I'm in in the comments and I'm going to be randomly checking in with you to see how you were doing. See how you're doing with the challenge. And also, um, I'm going to ask you, what are you proud of yourself for randomly? So let me know that you're in with this challenge Um in the comments but yes i just believe that um this practice is just gonna help you with you know sleeping at night and also just improving your mental health because a lot of times we're just in our heads all the time and i know for me one thing the enemy loves to tell me is i'm not doing enough but just seeing that I, i'm actually accomplishing things whether i do nothing all day or if I'm doing a whole lot that day, like I have something to be proud of myself for. And you could be proud of yourself for waking up, for taking a shower, for calling a friend, for showing up for family, for showing up for yourself, taking a day off. It can be the smallest to the biggest things, but I just want you to write it down so you can see it. And after 30 days, let's look back on it and reflect and say, hey, I did all of these things and I'm proud of myself. We need to tell that to ourselves more. And I don't know about you, but maybe maybe you didn't hear um, your parents or your caregiver or whoever, you know, took care of you as a child. Um, maybe you didn't hear them say that they were proud of it, that they, that they were proud of you. So now you're an adult. It's time for you to be proud of yourself. OK, so it doesn't matter what they didn't do now. It's about what you can do and how you can show up for yourself, okay? Let me know you're in, in the comments, and I'll talk to y'all in the next video.